Traverse City, live from WDTN. Welcome to Living Dayton. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sally Taylor. Welcome back, Katie. Oh, thank you, Sally. Jenny, and uh, you guys made a great show for today, right? Absolutely. <laughs> for your welcome back. For my welcome back. Well, first up, Cedarville University. They're looking to defend their Solar Splash title. What is that? We're going to tell you all about it outside our studio with a look at their solar-powered boat. How much fun is that going to be? That's going to be great. <laughs> Plus, Tracy from So Dayton is here to keep your kids entertained this summer with their kids' nights and camps. And Azra's in the kitchen. We love when she's here. Hi, Azra. What are you making for us today? I'm making chicken shawarma, number one street food in New York last year. It would be very good and perfect for Father's Day. Ooh, that oh, sounds so good. I love it. Shawarma. I just want to keep saying it. Shawarma. <laughs> well, we're going to catch up with her later in the show. But first, a look at today's forecast and the top stories in our area. Two News Today anchor Brooke Moore is standing by. Hey there, good afternoon. Federal investigators say they're looking to see if anyone else was involved in the mass shooting at a Florida nightclub. At a press conference this morning, officials say Omar Mateen, armed with an assault rifle and pistol, opened fire inside the Pulse nightclub in Orlando early Sunday morning, killing 49 people and injuring 53 others. Mateen was killed in a gunfight with officers. Police are investigating his possible ties to ISIS. During the attack, Mateen called 911 to pledge allegiance to the terror group and mentioned the Boston bombers. Uh, we do not know yet whether anyone else will be charged in connection with this crime. I do want to let you know that we have no reason to believe that anyone connected to this crime is placing the public in imminent danger at this time. But there is an investigation of other persons. If anyone else was involved in this crime, they will be prosecuted. Sunday's shooting is the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. We talked to the local terrorism expert about the shooting in Orlando. He believes an attack left to come again. Dr. Glenn Dewar is a professor at Cedarville University. He says the shooting in Orlando was well thought out and the suspected shooter likely used past job experience to help prepare for the attack. This young man uh, worked for a security company. It's come out uh, for over nine years now and likely knows the ins and outs of security, likely knew how to get past an armed guard in order to carry out uh, a major attack. He also warns people to be vigilant at places known as soft targets. Those areas include nightclubs, concerts, and transportation hubs. And we are staying on top of this story throughout the day on our website, our mobile app, and our Facebook and Twitter pages. You can follow us for complete coverage anytime on WDTN.com right now. You'll also find a photo gallery, a timeline of events, and local reaction. Fire investigators are working two scenes that are suspected to be arson. The two fires broke out on Pritz Avenue and Highland Hills Avenue minutes apart. Both of the houses are vacant. Investigators say they're looking for a suspicious person they believe started both fires. Fire crews were working that scene on Pritz when another fire broke out on Highland Hills. No one was hurt in either fire. You can read more about this story on our website. Let's get over to Tara Hastings. She has your Storm Team 2 forecast. Good afternoon. Look for mostly sunny skies all day long. We'll see those temperatures climb into the low and middle 80s. We'll see low humidity values with very light and variable winds as we head into the afternoon. In your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, up to 88 degrees on Tuesday. Humidity values increase. We're also going to see a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. Some of the storms on Wednesday may be on the stronger side. High heat and humidity with highs near 90, but we will dry out as we go through the end of the week and the weekend. Well, school this summer, but one university is looking to defend their title. We're talking about the solar splash. We touched on this earlier in the show. We're happy to welcome Dr. Tim and John. Welcome both of you to the show. Thank you for being here. I kind of want to start with, it is a beautiful day outside, but we're talking about the solar splash. So I kind of want to, if you can, set it up for us, but also tell us what happens if there's no sun? How does the boat go? Well, we have batteries. It's not just solar panels. We have solar panels and batteries. It's kind of a power from the sun and then stored energy from the batteries that give us uh, the thrust we need when we're doing competition. But what we're doing here is we have teams from all over, uh, all over from the states, Puerto Rico, Mexico, 
and we are uh, we have several different races that we're competing against, and it's challenging, but it's a whole ton of fun to see the boats go super fast and uh, try to beat each other across the finish line. Yeah, it sounds really cool. I want to ask you, John, how long does something like this take to build? Oh, it takes a full year to bring a boat from start to finish. Um, it is a tremendous amount of work, and that's not just normal year. That's extra long hours, extra long days, long nights. And so, you know, I read that this is a really great experience for the students because obviously it's hands-on learning. You do a lot at Cedarville University in the books and tests and things like that, but this is a really cool thing for students to get outside and, and do something that teaches them kind of real-life skills. Oh, it's incredible. It's one thing to wrestle through a design and have that on a computer, but it's completely different to be able to manufacture it and uh, put it into the water and test it, to be able to see that full circle design build test. Uh, it's, it's an incredible experience before going into industry. And of course, we did say solar powered, uh, but there are batteries as well in case there's an issue. How long um, does it take to do a race? What, if, what happens if you have batteries that are built in in case the solar kind of stops during the middle? Actually, even on cloudy, rainy days, there still is solar power energy you have in order to regulate it over the race. We do two hour races in Solar Splash, so even if it's raining for two hours, you've got to go the speed that your batteries can last. Okay, and something I think perhaps maybe the coolest thing to me as I was kind of learning about this, you guys have a huge, you've won, you're like the most decorated university in the entire thing. This is the 22nd year for it, but you're the defending champs for 2015, or you're going to hope to be the defending champs for 2016, but you won last year, you've won eight different times. Yeah, this is true. So when we first began, it was a, it was a rough start, but 2004 we had a serious breakthrough with some hull design that gave us, uh, helped us save energy and really push past uh, the competition. Um, and for the past you know several years, we've been uh, just staying on top. And uh, staying on top are the solar panels here. You can kind of get a look at them as they're kind of glistening. It's just really neat to see something like this, all student built, and uh, they will be taking place in the competition. It is happening. If you wouldn't, uh, the details are there up on your screen. But um, obviously, June 15th through the 19th, it's at Eastwood Metro Park. Can anybody come to this? Yeah, we would encourage families to come out. It's a ton of fun. Uh, Saturday's our big day with the endurance race. Uh, there's room all, all along the bank of the lake for people to come watch. It's, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a lot of fun to watch. A lot of fun. Thank you both so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Best of luck. Help Cedarville be the reigning champs. They won in 2015. They want to win in 2016. So go check them out. Thanks, guys. All right, we're going to head back into Sally from sailing to sewing. What you got going on? Well, kids haven't been out of school long, but chances are parents